Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem four in chapter nineteen. Chapter nineteen is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. We can see we have this a、uh, square in the PV graph, right? It tell us this time we starting at the B, and then to A, to D, to C. See how it all works. First one, let's describe for each side. We can see for the side B A, this、uh, pressure is constant, but its、uh, volumes increased. So we can see this is isobaric expansion. Do you agree? Iso isobaric expansion. And how to we decide the work? We know work equal to P times delta V. P is constant. Delta V is positive because V A larger than V B. So in this part, we can see the work is positive. Now we look at A to D. In this case, V is a constant. Delta V is zero. So this work done is zero, right? The work done is zero. And in this case, we can see volumes is constant. Pressure decreases. So we can see it's also volume. I saw volumetric re reduction in pressure, and then from D to C, we can see in this case pressure is constant, but the volumes decrease. De decrease. Delta V is negative, right? So that makes isobaric compression, and the work is negative because delta V become negative. Now we come back to C to B. C to B, we can see volumes is constant, pressure increases. So this is the isovolumeric expansion in pressure, and the work done is zero because delta V equal to zero. The second part、uh, tell us we need to find the network during the cycle. So now the network should be the work done B A plus work done A D plus work done D C plus work done C B. Do you agree? Yes. Now we can input what are result in the problem thirty nine. And if you don't know how to do this calculation, you can check my previous videos. Problem thirty nine. And in this case, you can find the uh work done C D A. We split it as a work done C D plus work done D A. And this number is given. So we can do all of this work. In all of this work, you can see. After you input all of them together, so come come this four together, you can find finally we find this、uh, four terms can be reduced to these two terms, and then find also is there. The next part is tell you what is the total internal energy change, <coughs> and in this case we can see from B to A to D to C come back to B. Did the P and the V changes? No, it's at the same point. Agree. So P is now change, V is now change, and then how can we see the internal energy change? Because the internal energy change equal to three over two N R T, right? Now, can you replace the term N R T by consider the ideal gas law? Ideal gas law tell you P V equal to N R T, so you can replace N R T as P V. And in this function, you can see P is now change, V is now change for initial point B, final point B. So that makes internal energy will now change, right? And the next one ask you the net heat, um, during these circles. At this part, we know. The internal energy change equal to Q minus W, and we see it now never change. And W is a given forty six joules. In this way, we can get a Q just equal to W, just equal to forty six joules. The next one ask you what is the percentage of intake heat was turned into unstable work. So in this case, we can see, uh, if we want to find the intake heat, this is we just get in progress, right? Forty six joules. Now, what is the 
input head. So what is input head? So this Q is the net head. What is input head? So we can consider there. Input head equal to D, C, A. Agree? D, C, A. Because you can see it runs one car line. Now how can we do it? So we can see think this is known quantities. And the in the net the net head is use Q A C D plus D C A <coughs> Agree? Yes. And then this two this part we can get the D C A as Q minus A C D. A C D is given. So in this part we can get the intake input Q. And this is a net Q over input Q, we get it's around 40%. Thank you.